today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and start graphing some exponential functions. So uh, we're going to make these by creating a t table. And we start off by making sure you have the graph paper out. And let's do this. So we're going to make a table. It's going to look like this. I'm going to put the three columns. This first one will be my x. My second one will be my equation that I'm trying to do here, which is this y is equal to 3x, and then our y value. Now you can pick any values you want to. Typically we'll do uh, negative 3 to positive 3. This time we'll do negative 4 to positive 4. So we're just going to go negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so in the middle column, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug these numbers in for x. So 3 to negative 4, grab a calculator and just evaluate these out. So when you do this, this 3 to the negative 4th power, um, I prefer you having that decimal, okay? It'll be easier to grab. We get a very small number. We get 0, 1, 2, 3. Try it. Make sure that you get that. We do the same thing for negative 3. So, and that's going to be 0 0.037. 3 to the negative 2nd power is 0 0.1 repeating. Uh, 3 to the negative first is 0.3 repeating, 3 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the first is 3, 3 to the second is 9, 3 to the 3 times 3 gives me 27, and times 3 to the 3 is 1481. And now what we're going to do is we're going to treat these as an ordered pair. So my first ordered pair would be like saying negative 4, and then the y value would be 0 0.02. 1, 2, 3. So that's really small. So just go back to 4 on the x-axis, and we're going to go up right, like barely anything. Okay? It's going to be really low for that y-axis. Um, negative 3, same thing. We're going to go back to 3, and then just maybe a tad higher, but we'll hardly even notice it. At negative 2, still very close to this x-axis line, we're just putting dots right here where they belong. Uh, negative 1 is going to be at 0.3, so a little higher now. At zero is positive one, so we can graph that point. At one is at one, two, three. At two is going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then at three, we're all the way off the graph. Three is like 27, so that's like way, way, I mean, that'd be way high. But I want you to see that what kind of curve this creates. And this creates a graph where what's going to happen is connect these dots from here and it's going to go pretty much straight almost looks like it's going straight up okay it's going to get all the way up to by four it's going to be all the way at 81 and then if we kept checking points less like try to negative five negative six and so on what we're going to find out is it, it just gets really those numbers get really really small it's never going to quite hit zero so you've got this curve it's called an exponential curve and that's exactly it and that's when we're done graphing that's all that we do so just plot some points now, in addition to this, we're we got to do three things. We got to find the y-intercept. Well, that y-intercept is just going to be where this crosses the y-axis, and that's right at that point. It's at a height of one. So, all you do to answer these questions, we're just going to write down y-intercept, and that would be at negative one. And then we have to find the domain and the range. And the domain, remember, this is a vocab word from a while back. It's all of your value and the range is all of your y values. So your domain, the question we have to ask ourselves is what x's can I plug in? We plugged in negative 4 to positive 4. You can plug in any number you want to. So your domain for these problems is all real numbers. If you want to abbreviate that, just put ARN. That's fine, but your Domain for this is always going to be all real numbers, no matter what. So every single problem, that's like a free question on the quiz. When I ask for the domain for these, just put down all real numbers. That's automatic. The range, a little trickier. 
the range is all the y values. And so to figure that out, I want you to look to see where the graph flattens out. And if you notice right here, all, the graph flattens out right at zero. You see that? Would you like an imaginary line? It doesn't go past zero. And so all of the points are above zero. So because range is y, the way we write our range is y, and then we're going to say greater than, because it's above that line, greater than zero. And that is, a, oh, I made one mistake. My y is not at negative one, it's at positive one, isn't it? So make sure you have a positive one, my mistake. Make positive one for y or something. Let's try one more of these and we'll see how we're doing. Um, so we've got y is equal to 2x plus 3. Go ahead and put this on your graph paper and try to do this problem with me. If you wanted to pause it and just see if you can come up with your own graph and see if you get what I get, that would be a good idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my table. I'm not even going to put the middle part. I'm just going to put x and y. All right. So we're going to plug in negative 3. I'm just going to go from negative 3 to uh, maybe 4 this time. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And just try typing in these numbers. So you're really just plugging in negative 3 into your x value. So you should be typing in 2 caret negative 3 and then just plus 3. And you should get 3.125. You do the same thing, but plugging in negative 2 now into that x value. So uh, you get 2 caret negative 3 and then plus 3, and that's going to be 3.25. Uh, we'll have 3.5 at 0 is going to be 4, 1 will be 5, uh, 2 is 7, 3 is 11, and 4 you should have had 19. So let's try to plot these points. Now, so at negative three, um, back three, we're gonna go up one, two, three point one. So it's just above three. Uh, negative two is 3.25, so just a little bit higher. Uh, negative one is gonna be at 3.5, so right there, right between uh, three and four. At zero, it's gonna be up at four. At two, it's gonna be at four, five, six, seven. Three is at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then by the time we get to 4, we're at 19, which is off the graph. And if we notice, again, it creates this curve. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to sketch this like this. And that is our curve. So we're going to answer these same three questions that we did before. Um, our y-intercept. Well, our y-intercept, it crosses the y-axis right there. You can also look at it when the x is 0. Okay, so either way. But your y-intercept in this case is positive 4. Domain, like before, it's A, R, N, all real numbers. We can plug in any number we want to for that domain. And then the range Look to see where this graph flattens out at. And we've got, it looks like it flattens out right there. And that is a height of three. And because all the points are above this line, above three, we're gonna say y, and then use that greater than sign, positive three, okay? That is all we do with these problems. So your assignment today is um, that skills worksheet. And you're going to do numbers one through four. And then when you do your tables, just use numbers uh, negative three through positive three for your tables. And then just like we did before, once you do your table, you're going to graph it. And then you're going to find your y-intercept, the domain, and your range. If you have any questions, I will see you all Monday. And uh, feel free to ask. Have a great day.